Hello everyone, welcome back to EV's Queen. I hope you guys are doing great. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new here and be sure to support us by leaving a like, leaving a comment, and of course, let us know what you want to see next. Faraday Future has announced the start of FF91 production in its Hanford CA factory in Central California, which it calls FFIE Factory California. Earlier this month, Faraday said that it would finally start production by the end of March, pending millions of dollars of funding coming through. Faraday says this is the last of seven major manufacturing milestones on a long road to bring the FF91 to production. A car that was originally unveiled in 2017 with the intention of 2018 production. The Faraday FF91 was promised 1,050 horsepower, a 130 kilowatt hour battery capable of 381 miles of range, 200 kilowatt charging and self-driving capabilities, and it also promised 060 time of 2.27 seconds, which was faster than other benchmark cars, namely Tesla at the time. These specs were quite eye-watering at the time and are still very good, though the shine has been somewhat taken off of them through five years worth of delays. But to Faraday's credit, it seems to have kept the same specs as its original announcement without watering them down in the interim. In the meantime, Faraday Futures founder and former CEO Jia Yoting otherwise known as YT Gia, found himself in difficult financial issues. Gia was replaced by Karsten Breitfield, formerly of BMW and Byton, who was later replaced by current CEO Xu Feng Chen, known as XF. Both XF and YT were on site for the live stream with the two affixing a plaque to first chassis to roll off the production line. Faraday has still not specified the price of its vehicle, but during the stream, XX praised the FF91's luxury and founder YT Gia name dropped both Ferrari and Maybach, setting a rather high bar in that respect. Gia also said that Faraday wants to position itself well in the high-value user market, another signal that prices won't be low. Faraday has two tires of pre-orders for its vehicles, $5,000 for the FF91 Futuristic Alliance tire and $1,500 for the FF91 Futuristic tire. The $5,000 tire is currently sold out, but for Faraday says that interested buyers can sign up to be on the $1,500 tire and ask to be contacted by a member of the sales team if a spot opens up. Immediately after the original announcement, Faraday announced it had received over 64,000 reservations in 36 hours, but these were unpaid hand raises and on a more recent check-in. The company claimed to have 14,000 unpaid reservations and only 401 paid reservations. Despite these modest numbers, Gia stated today that current production capacity falls far behind market demand. Faraday plans to open a store in Beverly Hills after this year, with sales efforts starting in Los Angeles and San Francisco first, then New York and Shanghai and Beijing and China. The start of production was accompanied by a live stream on Faraday's social media channels. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.